Hey, Melee. Swill here. Over here. But now I'm here. Now I'm here. Where will I be? Where will you be? Where should you be? What game are we playing? Well, it's Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. But what game are we playing? Melee can be played with your friends in many different game modes, with varying conditions, internal or external. There are time matches, stock, coin, and bonus matches. But there's also a secret mode called King of the Rock, mentioned in the game's official manual, found in the box your game came with. This is what's known as an external rule, one which isn't governed by any in-game variables. You are adding additional rules to the game that Melee doesn't itself explicitly track. Competitive players play with four stocks with a timer of eight minutes. If the eight minute timer is reached before either player's four stocks are depleted, the player with the higher stock count wins the match. Or do they? Even these players, with all that's on the line, use external rules to change Melee into something more competitive. We play rock, paper, scissors to decide many things, like ports on the console itself, stage bands, even the moves you choose to fight your opponent with, are a game of rock, paper, and scissors, if you choose to fight. In this infamous game between Rock Croc and Pink Shinobi, Pink Shinobi opts to use Peach's float ability to avoid Ganondorf's attacks for nearly the entire 8 minutes. Rock Croc chased Pink Shinobi and tried to hit him with whatever he could, to little avail. In short, we call this behavior stalling. And in shorter, it's not very fun to watch for most people. Over the past several years, players in the community have taken steps to discourage stalling, perhaps most notably with the removal of an entire stage. That stage the one that Rock Croc and Pink Shinobi played on, and it was because of that match. But who was stalling? How can we quantify it? There's no stalling metric in-game, so the community makes external rules to govern edge cases like these. In the past, there have been external rules, like a ledge grab limit, designed to stop players from abusing the continuous invincibility gain from grabbing the ledge repeatedly. There have also been discussions of adding air stalling limits using the in-game airtime metric, which is viewable on the post-game victory screen. For both ledge grab limits and air stalling limits, the threshold for stalling varies between tournaments and will always seem... arbitrary. I mean, why not decrease the ledge grab limit by one re-grab? Would that change things immensely? What if we played King of the Rock? What if The Rock was center stage? What if we played chess? What if each player had their own timer? One that ticks just a little bit faster the further you are from center stage. And what if, if the match reaches eight minutes, the player with the higher timer loses the match? Well, I would say it's a good thing the ledges and every area people stall in are so far from center stage. I would also say that I'd want to get practicing on the newest stage in the competitive stage list. And as always, thanks for watching.